So you've seen the title of the video, you've seen the thumbnail, and now you've seen my t-shirt. And you guessed it, I'm coming to you live from Kellerman's Mountain House in the summer of 1963. Hey guys, welcome back to Gold Souls. I am beyond excited for today's video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the Dirty Dancing number one fan collection from Sola Look Cosmetics. Now before I go any further, I just want you guys to know I was not sponsored to make this video. I saw this collection on social media and I just had to get it. Dirty Dancing is one of my all time favorite movies and it was kind of a no brainer. I needed to get this palette and I needed to show it to you guys. So here we are. So as you guys can see, I don't have the full beat on. That's because I'm gonna show you guys the application process and demonstrate a little look for you guys. So the cool thing about Solo Look Cosmetics is that they create palettes and makeup collections inspired by movies and TV shows from the past, which to me sounds like the coolest job Ever, to just watch a movie and then come up with how you could translate it into makeup and I think they did a really great job down to the finest detail so the first thing I want to show you guys is the mailing box that it came in this is how it arrived on my doorstep in this super cute pink box with the dirty dancing logo on it isn't that just like the cutest thing it's so adorable look at that then it gets better because when you open it up we had the logo once again and all these beautiful products. The cool thing about this box is that there's quotes from the movie all inside. So it says, I can't even do the merengue right here. It says, the steps aren't enough, feel the music. I always do the last dance of the season, butt out baby. And you never forget your first love. How cute is that? So let's get into each of the products. So the first thing I want to show you guys is uh, this really cute little makeup bag that has the Dirty Dancing logo on the front. And on this side, it says nobody puts baby in a corner. Gotta have that line. Otherwise, it's just not a Dirty Dancing collection, right? Next, we have this beauty blender, which honestly, this came at the perfect time in my life because I've been needing a new beauty blender. And this one feels so soft and cushy without even having to put any water on it. Next, we have these adorable lashes. We have the Kellerman's Mountain House logo on the front and then the Dirty Dancing logo right here. And inside, these beautiful lashes. Look at that. These are so gorgeous and I cannot wait to try them on. In order to put on the lashes, you're going to need your I Carried a Watermelon magic liquid eyeliner and adhesive in one which i've never tried before so that should be pretty interesting and one more extra that came with this collection is this beautiful portrait of jennifer gray as baby during the finale scene now last but not least is the star of this entire collection the dirty dancing forever baby eyeshadow palette first of all Look at this package. It looks like a VHS movie, which I absolutely love. And they've got the colors down perfectly. They've got all these great pictures from the movie included on the packaging. And once you take off this cover, gorgeous picture of Baby and Johnny with the logo. On the back, we have a picture from the finale dance. We've got this really cute sticker decal. The best part, you guys, is all of these gorgeous colors. Look at these colors and this great picture of baby as well. And then we have Forever Baby, which is the lipstick that comes inside the palette. I've been waiting to do this video and to show you guys these colors and to do this look for like two weeks. And now I just can't wait. So let's get into it. You know, as we know, Dirty Dancing takes place during the 60s, although at the same time, it feels very, very 80s. I think the music and the soundtrack has a lot to do with that. So I'm thinking I might take a nod from both decades, create kind of a hybrid look, something that feels 60s, but could also be 80s. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to have fun with it and uh, we'll see how it goes. So Dirty Dancing was filmed during the summer and fall of 1986. It was written and co-produced by Eleanor Bergstein and it was directed by Emile Ardolino. One of my favorite facts about this movie is the fact that Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey did not get along at first because they had worked together on a previous film and they were not fans of each other. They actually got along during the screen test if you watch the footage. There's definitely some banter, but it seems to be all in good fun. But they kind of went back to bickering when the filming started. So then the director had a really genius idea, which was to show them their screen test again to kind of remind them of their initial chemistry and it worked. They worked out their issues and were able to be professional and get back to work and put the drama aside to focus on the story and it worked out and you know they ended up becoming good friends which is great i have many favorite scenes in this movie one of my favorite scenes is right after johnny and baby's first performance at the sheldrake hotel they're driving back to kellerman's and that just the whole vibe of that scene like you can feel the chemistry has like begun 
like it's so subtle but it's very very clear another favorite part of the movie for me is the montage when johnny's teaching baby how to dance before the sheldrake performance and he's doing the part of the dance where he has to run his hand down her arm and she just cannot stop laughing. His expression of exhaustion and irritation was real. She wasn't really supposed to laugh during that, but she just was so exhausted and she was just like could not keep it together that her laughter was real and he was actually getting annoyed with her. And I just think that's so funny. Another moment that I really like too is when they're practicing and they're getting really frustrated and they kind of have a shouting match and uh, it's raining and Johnny's like, okay, fine, let's just get out of here. So then they get in the car and uh, he has to break the window to get into his car and they start driving away kind of fast and baby starts laughing and goes you're wild i don't know why i just love that part it's so cute i also like the part where um johnny has to leave kellerman's when he gets fired um i think that's partially because she's like the wind is playing in the background but also because oh, the cinematography is really cool too i love that we go into that crane shot um, and the camera pulls away as he drives off. So after the movie's success, there was some talk about a sequel um, and Patrick turned it down because he hated sequels and I think that's a very good choice. There have been some Dirty Dancing like offshoot, like spin-off movies. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think Patrick was right. We don't need a sequel. It's good the way it was and we should just enjoy that. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I absolutely loved playing with this palette. All of the makeup is such great quality and the colors are so vibrant and so beautiful. So beautiful that I couldn't even choose. It took me forever to figure out what I wanted to do, but I love this blue 60s moment, but it has a little bit of an 80s feel just with so much of the shimmer and everything. It's definitely a dramatic look, but I really like it. I think it's super fun and it kind of is reminiscent of the makeup look that Baby wears during her very first performance with Johnny at the Sheldrake Hotel. And I just loved how easily the colors transferred. The colors were so beautiful and easy to apply and very buildable, which I think is important when you have such dramatic colors. So I was able to build the blue to end up being exactly what I wanted. Um, the eyeliner adhesive, game changer. I've never used a product like that before. And honestly, applying lashes has never been easier. I have never applied lashes that quickly and that easily in my life. So that's definitely gonna become a staple in my beauty routine for sure. And these lashes are so much fun. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw them, I was like, oh, that looks super dramatic. And like, they are, but it just works. And I absolutely love it. And the lipstick was really great. Again, a very buildable product. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be too shocking, but actually I realized I needed more of it. I just kept adding more and more. And I think it kind of created this really great kind of um, contour to my lip color when I used it with other lipsticks, which was super great. Um, I cannot wait to keep using this palette and create more looks with it. Now, if you guys like this look and you like this palette and you wanna see me do more looks from this palette with the other colors, please let me know in the comments because I would gladly come back and do another video for you guys because I think this palette is just so much fun. As a passionate Dirty Dancing fan, I can say that they definitely hit the mark on this one. They did a great job. It's like getting the movie in a box. As someone who loves movies and the 80s and retro vintage and makeup, this was just the perfect blend of everything that I love and I'm so excited that I was able to share it with you guys. Now, I mentioned at the beginning that this video is not sponsored and it's not. But after I received the palette in the mail, I became aware of an opportunity that customers have to join their affiliate program, get a link and a code and everything. So I wanted to let you guys know that if you use my code Gold Souls on the shop, you will get 10% off. Thank you guys so much for watching and for time traveling with me back to Kellerman's. I had so much fun talking about one of my favorite movies and creating a fun look for you guys. If you like this content and you want to see more videos like this, leave me a comment below telling me what you think of the palette, what you want to see next, what your favorite scene in Dirty Dancing is, who your favorite characters are. I would love to know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow Gold Souls on Instagram and TikTok. And remember, nobody puts baby in a corner. See you guys next time.